All right. Let's start with the upgrades of what I was previously talking about, the locomotor upgrade. This will be triggered by the China nuclear tanks upgrade, which is, oops. This upgrade right here is the nuclear tanks upgrade. Once this upgrade is purchased, this is triggered and the tank in this case will have a new motor essentially. Next is the drones that you can buy. That's these three guys right here. Next we have the experience multiplier. That's this one training right here. And next we have the health upgrade in this case which is triggered by the composite armor upgrade right here. That adds 1200 health apparently. That is amazing. I will keep it as is. The way that this works is it adds 1200 on top of the 650 that's already on it. That's what add current health to stands for. Um, next, we will look at the it's point laser defense system. This is the same laser that the Avenger has to shoot out missiles from the sky. This is just a mini version of it. Um, we should probably change that to 150 seems about right. Next we have its death effects. Um, in this particular case, when it gets run over, splat. <laughs> it, this is what it creates. Just a crushed unit. There are many more upgrades that you can actually add. Um, let's look at a particular one that has to deal with the Overlord tank. Alright, here is the Overlord tank. In my particular boss general, I have the Emperor tank as that particular tank. Um, here is the module code for the Horde bonus, which is when you have a certain set of units of a, of a particular type near that unit that China gets. Um, you just can copy and paste it straight from the Overlord unit. Again, as you can see, I have the, the nuclear tanks upgrade that connects with that. Um, the experience. Here is the GLA junk repair um, upgrade given to your unit so they self-repair while in the battlefield. They, hear, they will heal, in this case, um, 5 health every second. It seems a little much. I'll have to modify that later. Um, again, this is the composite armor. It just gets added to it, and it gets added to the unit. This is the triggering command code for that. You can just copy and paste that. Um, this is would be on the USA units. So the Crusader tank, the Paladin tank would be on that. Next, the... Next, we have the propaganda coding, which in this case, it, it will blip every two and a half seconds for a radius of that size, and then it upgrades, and all that good stuff. Also, um, there is a secondary code for the passengers being allowed inside of a uh, tank. Um, in this case, I have it set to eight slots. That's just like the assault trooper trucks, like when they have the mini gunners in it and all that good stuff. All right, I thought I would open up the uh, upgrade.ini to show you what the uh, upgrade code looks like. Um, specifically, uh, this first 
uh, entry, the display name, is a general CSF edit that you would later need to uh, modify if you were to add any personalized upgrades. These are just general commands, just so you know, you can change these to do anything. Um, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, the cost and all that. Um, the button image is the cameo, um, kind of like I talked about the cameo for the unit. Um, next we have the uh, sound that it makes when it like in this case since it is the uh, overlord that sound it makes like it's loading up that will be located in the sound effects ini however though the research sound um, would be in voice ini because that's you know what's being talked um, and then this is just the sound effect um, and it's really just that easy. Alright. For the last upgrade, I am going to show you how to add multiple command sets. But first, let's get into what command sets and command set buttons are. I touched on it a little bit when we added the unit, when we had to uh, add the command button, and then add the button to the command set. Alright, let's look into command sets now and command buttons. First, let's start with the buttons. These are the, uh, as I showed earlier in the previous video when adding the Expert Crusader, you had to have a command button to build the unit. Um, this is the file for all the commands in the game, including buying General's Powers, I believe, and um, upgrades. So earlier when I was talking about buying the composite armor and uh, the Gatling cannon and the propaganda tower and all that jazz, um, you would still need to make a command button for that. And you can just copy a, com a uh, upgrade command button in here already. Just plug in your uh, particular parameters. Um, and again, just like before, um, this is the object. Um, if it's an upgrade, you would just put the upgrade in there instead. This is the CSF uh, information that you would have to edit. This is the cameo. Um, that's self-explanatory, just like before. Remember, uh, this is that image that would show up when you want to after you select it, or even the button to select that. In this case, um, this description label is also a CSF edit. In this case, you would need to create um, a control bar tool tip boss build, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you know, depending what your thing is. So I have to make an expert crusader. So when you get a bunch of these together, you can create a command set. This is what the command sets look like. Um, in the previous video, I told you to copy and paste that command set button to the War Factory. That is, as you can see, I have one, two, this is actually the same one, but it's upgraded because I have the mines uh, upgrade, both the regular and the EMP ones. And then I have the first, uh, or rather should I say the first secondary uh, command set, which has our Expert cr Crusader command. And then I have also the Battlemaster. It was um, part of my idea. I was thinking of like kind of having like a Battlemaster class of units as the one thing. But anyway, it's a personal mod. You know, I'll, I'll look into that later if there's any interest if to showing off that mod to people. Um, and that's pretty much it on that. It's pretty self-explanatory, um, but let's give you a visual representation of what that looks like. I mean, I'm sure you might have an idea at this point, but let's give a, a nice look. So let's start with the boss war factory. This is what that would look like. Here's a, a snippet of the command set. This would be the uh, command buttons. As you can see, you can find them there. Um, this is what it looks like in game. As you can see, it's labeled 1 to 18, um, and it goes 
odds evens, so one, two, three, four, or if you prefer, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, etc. Um, as you can see, I have eighteen. Um, this is a mod um, that I cannibalized into my game. Um, it is an add-on for the Operation Firestorm mod. Um, it's just the widescreen. You can just Google it. Um, you can. It's easy to um, install. I recommend actually extracting the files from the .big it gives you and assimilate them into your game and then start your modding procedures after that. Um, at least I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from. I don't know. It's been years ago since I've done that. Um, I've cannibalized several mods into my uh, mod. And the right here is the upgrade I was going to show later, or up next actually, since I wanted to explain a little bit of what command status looks like. Eventually, you can have so many units, you don't know what to do. Um, yes, I know this is unbalanced. Um, most of this is just testing. Um, several units I will be removing and adding to other, other generals and, and such. Um, again, this is a personal mod that will never be released to the public. I can only show you how to create your own stuff. By the way, this is our expert crusader down here. Um, in a later video, I will show how to change the art. Now let's uh, let me show you how to uh, add more command sets to your actual buildings. Um, this is an exploit, or rather should I say, something I figured out from the code based on the GLA uh, mechanics. The GLA worker has the ability to make both real and fake buildings, and with that it has the ability to switch command sets to choose which buildings it wants to build. And that looks like this and you would click this build and button right here to go back and that one to go to there. It's that simple. On my mod, as you can see, I have an up arrow to go to an upper deck and a down arrow to go to a lower deck. As you can see, I'm just experimenting and this is all thrown together. This is a... I've been making playing with this since 2006, so... So in, in my mod, to get that level of sophistication, I had to encode my own uh, versions of the upgrades. It's very easy to do. Just copy and paste it and just put a 2. Put a 1. It doesn't matter. Um, you can find the code on the GLA um, worker, as I said earlier. And that's why you can just copy it over from them. Just remember to change the command set. Since that building I have, in this case is the War Factory, has so many command sets, I had to make several of the codes. In fact, I think I have one too many. I think I can get rid of this one. I don't know at the time, though. I'll have to figure that one out later to simplify the code. Um, essentially, what you're doing is you are buying an upgrade to change the unit or in this case the War Factory's command set to literally upgrade into a separate secondary command set. In this case the fake one so that would be actually my fake one is the bottom one and then obviously you need to go back to the beginning so you need to buy an upgrade to go back to the original command set. And then once you're on the original command set, you buy the upper one to go to that command set, and then return back to normal. It's that simple of a command. These would be the individual commands to uh, go from tool uh, command set to command set. And don't forget to 
put each of these commands in the appropriate command set. It'll take some time. Um, while, we're, while we are here, I wanted to uh, show you real fast. Um, here's the code to put mines on your building. You uh, need to um, copy these two codes specifically. This will trigger it. And then you need to add the command button to the command set to build the mines. You will have to also create a secondary command set that will upgrade to the um, EMP. You will also need to copy this code right here. This particular um, one, once you buy that upgrade, it will automatically change to the upgraded command set. So as you saw up there, you probably read that it wouldn't, none of them says upgrade. Um, since this would be already triggered, it'll default to the upgraded version. Always. Um, don't worry about this. This is a separate code. I added a armor for buildings that uh, they all get fortified with a stronger armor. It costs quite a bit of money for boss to use it.